Thorium, number 90 on the periodic table of elements. Thorium is a little known form of nuclear energy that is both safe and 200 times more efficient than the current nuclear technology. The United States had a working experimental thorium reactor at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in the late 1960s. However, its funding was cut by then President Nixon for reasons unknown. But it is suspected that the reason was thorium reactors do not produce weapons grade nuclear byproducts and would likely put the oil and gas and coal industries out of business. Thorium is so energy dense it could replace all forms of energy currently used on Earth today for a tiny fraction of the cost. A mere 5,000 tons of thorium would power the entire world for a year replacing 65,000 tons of uranium, 5 billion tons of coal, 31 billion barrels of oil, and 5 trillion cubic meters of natural gas. With the cheap electricity that would be produced by thorium, we could even replace gasoline and diesel fuels by producing carbon neutral, pollution free fuels such as dimethyl ether, hydrogen, and methanol. Thorium could even be used to clean up our nuclear waste stockpiles by extracting the remaining amount of energy that was not spent in the uranium. 99.5% of it was wasted. So while uranium is extremely rare like gold and platinum, thorium is as abundant as lead and is a byproduct of rare earth mining. A single rare earth mine could provide all the world's energy needs. Just a single mine. And thorium reactors cannot have a meltdown. They are safe. They use a passive safety system. A refrigerated soft plug keeps the reactor running. If power is lost for any reason, the refrigeration stops and the plug automatically melts and that drains the reactor into a safe cooling tank. There are no worries that diesel generators will fail due to flooding like what happened at Fukushima Daiichi. If power is lost to the reactor, the thorium reactor will just shut itself down passively without any human intervention. And it is even technically possible to use a subcritical reactor that is excited by lasers or miniature particle accelerators. This would make the thorium reactor 100% safe, meaning it could be used to directly power cars and even your home independently of the power companies. If power is lost, the laser or particle accelerators turn off and the nuclear reaction completely stops. So the question is, why is this technology being withheld from the world? I urge you to contact your representatives and ask them why thorium power is not on the forefront of our energy policy here in the United States and in other parts of the world. Because the energy potential of thorium is so staggering that it would literally change the face of the world. It would benefit mankind like no form of energy has ever done before. And the jobs lost in the oil, gas, and coal industries would be rapidly replaced by more productive jobs powered by this cheap and abundant energy source. Energy creates jobs. The cheap energy creates even more jobs. It would power agriculture. It would even enable local agriculture, such as hydroponics, aquaponics, which would produce food right in the cities. That would bring the cost of food down, especially in third world countries that can't afford a transportation system powered by diesel fuel running trucks for hundreds of miles. It would mean water purification. It would mean abundant water for third world poor countries we could actually desalinate ocean water with this cheap, abundant electricity and pump it inland, meaning places with little or no water would now have abundant, clean water. This would mean population stabilization in third world countries because first world countries have stable populations. Third world countries do not. The implications of a thorium-powered world are staggering. It would bring industry and economic growth beyond anything we have ever seen from the petroleum age. And it would do it all with clean, cheap, abundant energy.